to see all of the momentum that it's picked up, all the fans and everyone just supporting it and being behind it, it's, it's awesome. What can you share with me? Because the fans of the Fosters are almost as intense as this wind we're feel feeling outside right now. The series premiered, or yeah, it um, picks up where um, the huge cliffhanger was left off three weeks after. So it was a huge car accident, and um, you'll see how the whole family is kind of affected by it. I will tell you what Brandon's doing. Uh, Brandon's going to Idlewild, and he'll be doing some more music stuff, and there'll be two new characters coming in, which is always interesting. This season three, I guess I could tell you Jude and Connor, the relationship it continues to evolve. Okay. So, and there's going to be a lot of scenes, probably more development of the characters. For Jude uh, and his storyline, it's a lot about... Hashtag Johnner. Hashtag Johnner, of course. It's about there. It's about Jude and Connor's uh, relationship and what it's, you know, what, what it's like to see a young teen love relationship on television. It just kind of shows their relationship developing and continuing forward and them making decisions on what they're going to do and, and how they're going to kind of come out and, and tell the world or tell others around them, you know, who they are and that they're together. More importantly, I feel like it's something that so many young people, really people of all ages, are connecting with. Well, first, I kind of expected it that, you know, fans would, you know, they'd resonate with it, but it, it kind of got, it caught like so large lately, like this, since season two came out and the genre kiss happened, people just kind of freaked out with that and it's been a lot bigger than I had expected. And so much, you know, positive reaction. I'm thankful for it. I've heard maybe some inklings about a new love interest or a new girl, perhaps. What can you share about that? Very possibly. There is a female character uh, showing up to Idlewild, so there is a possibility that that could develop. Um, but we'll see. It's been really fun, though. It's been a lot of fun. Who have you heard from, like, on social media that you've been really surprised as a fan of your work or a fan of the show or, like, a fan of the kiss that went down? Um, I know Siri, the voice of Siri, she what? followed me on Twitter. Shut up. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, mic know. drop. That's crazy. <laughs> and I know you guys are now three seasons <laughs> in, but I feel like more and more there's more momentum building for the show. There's there's more positive attention, and it, there's just more people sort of um, learning things or really connecting with the show. What Does that continue to surprise you guys? I mean, obviously in a great way, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's incredible to, to see momentum. I mean, we, we want the show to go on forever almost. I mean, I love the people that we work with. We have a, such an amazing and professional cast and crew. And, you know, these guys are, are such idols to me, and, and being able to look up to them oh, so is incredible. And so... Uh, for me at a young age, and this is the first kind of big show I've done, I love it. I, I think it's incredible to see all of the momentum that it's picked up, all the fans and everyone just supporting it and being behind it. It's, it's awesome. Click to the left to check out one of the stars of The Fosters, Bailey Madison, when she just visited us in studio. Or you can click to the right for a rundown of 48 celebs who you may have forgotten are in Disney Channel movies.